Hi and welcome to new text of episode on my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can detect bad motors on a quad which causes vibrations and the quad doesn't fly as smooth as you want to have it and perhaps you cannot find out very simple what motor the problem makes. There are different reasons why a motor can be bad. One thing is the most common after a few crashes you have a bent motor shaft or the bearings are broken then you get uh, not a smooth around uh, spinning of your motor and this causes vibrations. Second possibility is you get a new motor but the bearings are bad inside especially uh, with cheap motors and the third reason can be if the bell the spinning part of the motor is not balanced well from the factory so that means you have also vibrations and you are not able to balance the bell yourself that's a pretty difficult part there are also different ways to detect the motor sometimes a bad motor makes strange noises so one possibility is just to listen to all the different motors, check out which motor does bad noises, but sometimes that's, that doesn't help because strange noises on the motor doesn't need to make vibrations on your quad. But sometimes this is the, uh, an easy way to find out which motor it is. So there are different ways to detect the motor which causes vibrations. Um, for all the three solutions, you have to go to Betaflight. So we have to connect the quad to Betaflight. And very important, before you do anything on the motor page where we have to go then, take off your props. Always take off your props if you want to spin up your motors or this will hurt. For placing the quad, I need some foam just to make sure that all the vibrations can be felt on the quad. There is nothing hard which can affect the, the vibrations and with a foam under the quad um, I will feel best how the motor vibrates. So first thing is we can listen to the motors. So we have to turn on motor test mode. That's this little uh, button on the lower side of the page, of the motor page. Then we have motor one to four. Then we can spin up one after the other and we can just uh, listen to the motor and we will see what happens. What we have to do to check the motors, we have to connect the flight battery to the quad. Then we are able to spin up the motors without the transmitter. So motor 1 sounds pretty good, then we have motor 2. Sounds also not that bad, then we have motor 3. So that one makes some strange noises, so it seems not that good. And mode 4, 4 seems to be okay in case of noises. Then the second is to just feel the motor shaft when the motor spins. Just touch it just uh, slightly, not, not hard because it's getting hot. Your finger will get hot. Uh, you can be burned if the motor spins uh, on, on high RPM. So just soft touch the motor shaft and the motor doesn't need to spin that fast so it's even better if you spin just something like this and then touch the motor shaft and now we go also to motor 3 and have a check and I really can feel a little difference between the motor 3 and I think all the other motors we just check yes it looks that motor 3 had a hard hit in case of a crash and that seems to be the problem. Now the third solution is on the right side you have 
refresh rate of all three axes, roll, pitch and yaw, which shows the FC reactions if there are vibrations. So we do the scale as low as possible. So if I only move the quad just a little bit, you see there goes much vibrations on. And like this with scale on 50 and refresh on 10 milliseconds, we can see the most which how the quad moves if there are any vibrations. So the vibrations of the motors will also go through the FC and will show it up here. The axis, the blue one is the roll axis, the, the green one is pitch and the red one is your axis. Now we just go back and spin up motor one again and we'll see just spin up slowly to see the different RPMs and which RPM the motor does how much vibrations and very important don't shake your table because if I shake the table now that's what happens so you get another good result so don't move the table or the place where the quad sits on just to have a clean result of your of your testing now. And the yaw movement you can see is just because of the different RPMs. You have always some torque on the yaw axis, so this is normal in that changing the RPM. So let's go slowly up and the return and let's have a look how, how the motor looks. So we have little vibrations and let's go to mode 2. Okay, seems to be a little bit better than motor 1, but not massive difference. Then motor 3. Here we really can see a difference, so it seems really to be motor 3 which is uh, in trouble. And last motor. Yeah, as you can see, we had the most vibrations on motor 3, so with noise, with touching the motor shaft and with checking on the motor page on Betaflight, we can all see the same result. So it's definitely motor 3, which is the baddest one. And there are always differences between the motors, but the motor 3 is really the one which have to be replaced. You can for sure try to replace the bell and you just have to hope that the bearings are still okay so if you change the bell and the bearings are bad that doesn't help anyway so you have to change also the bearings and then you have spent almost the money for a whole motor so i prefer to just get a new motor and the problem will be solved with a new motor so that's all about it today that's how to Check the motors and one of the reasons why you ha can have noises and oscillations on your quad 
that will hopefully help to get you a better quad and more fun and flying and get some good HD footage. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give me a thumb up, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, happy flying. Bye bye.